from traditional Armenian cuisine, tolma. And tolma originally was made in Armenia, in Armenia by Armenians. During centuries, years, for some reason, some people started calling it dolma and what's worse, they started calling it their traditional dish. First of all, the name already comes from Armenian word toli, which means uh, grape wine. So let's make this dish first of all, and then taste it and say how you like the dish. It's called tolma. And the funny thing, I don't understand why some of my Armenian, my Armenians started calling tolma as dolma. There is no such a word as dolma, my dear Armenians. It's tolma. Hairen asumen tolma tayof. Okay, so about that was about tolma name. And now what we need for our tolma. And by the way, this dish is made slightly differently in each household. Some um, some people would add um, different spices, some would add uh, sauteed onions with tomatoes on top and then cook it. Um, completely different recipes, but it's always so, so delicious and so good. And I like making mine with two different meats. I have ground beef and ground turkey. Uh, and traditionally, by the way, this was made with lamb. Uh, and they would chop the lamb very finely because I would assume they didn't have meat grinders back in I don't know what century, what years, but traditionally it was made with lamb meat and chopped, finely chopped lamb meat. And nowadays, you know, we can uh, use our grinders or even better buy uh, already ground, <laughs> ground meat. And I choose to buy these two kinds. I remember my father would always use some pork because that would make the filling very tender. I don't usually use pork, but it's an idea. If you want even more tender, more juicier, and with full fat, you can use with. Um, we can. You can use pork meat. Okay. I talk too much again. All right. So I have about a pound or more of each. Uh, meat and then I also have a jar of grape wines. I buy them ready. Usually I buy from Armenian store and I do prefer to buy the kind that's imported from Armenia. Let me show you that. Um, I think this is important. Yeah, the one that's imported from Armenia and look on the uh, label. It says product of Armenia. Usually that kind is very tender and in nicely, huh? Mom, give me a big piece of I'm bread. not done. I'm doing something. Give him a big piece of bread. Um, you want them to be very tender and small size. That's how we usually make in Armenia. Here, the California kind is usually very tough and looks huge. With those, you would probably cut half to make it look nice size. Okay, so that's about the grape. grape wines and uh, I wash them with hot water wash and drain and also the spices I like using all kinds of spices Anna you could have waited she's a hot man okay um, of course you will need an onion and then I use garlic spices I have ground uh, red pepper halepo pepper which is uh, coarsely ground uh, red chili I have a coriander and then black pepper. I barely have any black pepper left, so I'm gonna use ground white pepper, but usually black pepper is a must spice. And then they don't use curry, but I always add a little bit of curry. Mm, I said coriander and I like adding a little bit of tomato paste, red pepper paste. What else? Fresh herbs. I have cilantro, parsley, uh, and then I also have dry herbs. I like using dry uh, dill. I have savory in Armenian citron. It says savory, which is, I assume, the English name. And then I have uh, dry basil and salt, of course. Later I will bring hot boiled water. And one other thing I forgot. 
I wet some rice in hot boiling water and set aside. So this is basically all for ingredients. Okay, and I'm gonna start by grinding my onion, garlic, and then we'll go from there. Okay, this is grinded, but we're not done with this yet. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cold water, about half a cup or so. Arka, hima duska setir. Yes, no more singing. Okay, and then I'll add my tomato paste, about a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon, and then a good tablespoon of red pepper paste. We didn't have this red pepper paste. I don't remember using this red pepper paste in Armenia, but I always like adding this to my meats. So that's that. And then I'll go ahead and add some of the spices to this mixture. The salt. Make the spiced mixture and add it to my meat. Later I can add or, um, add or remove something. Let's say if it's too salty. <laughs> I'll add some water. Okay, so I'll add the spices, a pinch of each, probably half a teaspoonful or so. And then I wish I I knew my red pe uh, black pepper was all out, but I'll use the white pepper. Nothing will happen. What else? Coriander and my um, herbs. Very important. We always use a good amount of good herbs. Dill, parsley, no, dill, um, savory, and um, basil. Okay, so I'll add about half a tablespoon of each. Okay, and lastly the dill. I'll give this another quick mix. And we should be almost done with our mm, mixture. Arka, enough! Now we can place our meat in a deep bowl and I remember my mom would also add uh, an egg into this mixture and my grandma because <clears throat> they didn't always have uh, a good amount of meat, right? She'd add a, a lot of uh, rice and um, wet bread to make it uh, more and softer, she'd say. Yeah, and she made the best, the most delicious dolma. I mean, she didn't even add this many spices, just probably black pepper, red pepper, some herbs, and that's it. I don't know what is so special. I mean, I know. Okay, and the rice. Okay, and I will rinse this. <laughs> Processor, Armenian style. Okay, add my rice and mix this until everything is combined. And we can taste the salt at this time, not at this time, after we mix it. And I like mixing this with my hand and with a glove. So I'll mix this and we'll go from there. The filling is ready and it's a good idea to taste the salt. Mm. It needs just a little bit of salt. My dad would always eat this meat, the raw meat, as if he's tasting the salt and he would just swallow it. He'd say, this is even more delicious <laughs> than the cooked torma, but don't, don't do that, please. And the meat this mixture should be very soft. When you squeeze it, it should come out like a... I don't know what to call this, but it should be very, very soft. If you think it's not soft, you'd better add some cold water. 
let's say. Mine is good. I'll just add a little bit. But be sure to add cold water. Ice cold water. Okay, this is ready. I added the salt and we can always add the extra salt when we start cooking. Okay, and this is the time when you need to take the time and wrap and wrap that dolma. Okay. Alright, so I'll set this aside and arrange my board and of course you will need a good pot. We, we usually make dolma in good amount, in big pots, but this is something only me, my husband and one of the kids will eat, so I'm not making a big portion. Okay, I don't know if any of my kids would agree to help me to wrap this dolma, but let me show you how we do it. Do it first. Of Oh wow, Lucy! You wanna help? Yeah. Hmm, now she's helping. Come on. Okay, I'll show you. Okay? Just mm -hmm. Bring one of these. A small one. Okay, so you'll grab a teaspoonful or so. It really depends on the size of your uh, grape wine. Okay, just like this. Even this up. And then... Bring this forward, fold the sides like this, and oops, roll. Did you see it loose? No. No? Okay, now look. I'll do one more and you'll try, okay? Okay, get one. Leave? I'll give you one. Hold on, hold on. And if it has stems, be sure to cut the stems like this. Okay. Mm. It's like a lava chip. I don't like this one. Yeah, and then put it uh -huh, in the middle. And one more thing, you want to be sure that this side, that you see these veins, right? This is the inside part. This is not the inside. The shiny part is the, the um, outside. outside, yes. Oh, you see? Good helper. Hmm, okay. No, put it here, on the top, like this. Okay, and now bring this one forward. First one. Okay, you can do both together. Himakokeritsu. Now these ones, like your rab blinchik, remember? We were mm -hmm. doing blinchik class. Mm -hmm. mm. That sounds. Started arranging our already stuffed wine leaves in an in an even smaller pot. I decided to go a shortcut. I'll do this for now for tonight's dinner, and the rest I'll do lazy tolma. I have the lazy tolma on my channel as well. Look for that one if you're if you're lazy. Okay, and my beautiful Lucine agreed to help me, and she wrapped quite a few tolmas. And Lilith was helping me too, so... <laughs> Why are you saying hmm? Okay, so you want to have some helper when you, when you don't have too much time to wrap dolma. Okay, and you're gonna arrange it nicely in a pot, just like this. It has to be in nice, nicely arranged design. Right, Lucine? Boiling water, boiled water. And I already nicely arranged my dolmas. Um, I like adding some fresh chili peppers, green chili peppers, spicy ones. I love the taste of it with my dolma. You don't, this is not mm, a must ingredient and you don't have to, but it tastes so, so good. And I'll add just a little bit of more salt. This was too much salt. And then you want to cover it with something, a plate, of course. Something means a plate. Just like this, so they don't move when they start boiling. And cover with hot boiling water. 
like this. You want to be sure the water covers the plate. When you dip it like this, it should cover the plate. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. Let it cook about 25 minutes. Remove the plate, cover the lid, and cook until the rice is cooked. So basically it will cook about 45 minutes or so. And I'll see when it's cooked. And just to remind you about the lazy version, in case you don't have time, I'm, I'm just mixing some red pepper paste, tomato paste and some salsa together or lecho, homemade lecho. And I saved all those not, not very good looking leaves to go on the bottom of the pan, just like this. This is just between us, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna grab those, the tolma meat filling, tolma filling. Make them into these little um, kebab shapes. Kebab? Kebab. Anyway, any shape, you can even make them round. Okay, just like this. And then shape them, put on my thing continue until I'm, I'm done okay I'll drizzle some of this tomato sauce my husband like this one with red sauce so I always make it with usually I'd saute onions and these spices and everything into that sauce well, if you watch the video, you'll see I got criticized so much for that video saying that how, how could you represent Armenian dolma in such a non-traditional way? Well, I did already, okay? And it's easy and so many thankful people later contacted, like send me letters, messages. It's time saving, okay? took me like 15 minutes or something okay so this is this and a couple of garlic cloves or maybe I'll slice the garlic I'll add one more and then cover with leaves Arka Jan, we're almost done Arka <laughs> okay okay this one and where is my water okay and I'll add the water cook until it's cooked that's it okay just like this Arka come here to this I'll add more water just a little bit Arka Papa is busy to this okay and then I'll cook until it's cooked I'll cover the lid where is the lid I'll find it later. Excuse me, what? When the house smells so good, you want to eat something, right? And I had already made pasu storma, pasu storma for my Armenian channel. So I started from that tolma. I'm switching to this lazy tolma because I know this is cooked already. And to check, just grab one of those meatballs and taste if the rice is cooked. Mm. This is so delicious. This is cooked, so I'll cover it. Turn off and let's check this other one. I don't know if I have mentioned about the f um, meat quality. Usually we choose full fat meat, but I never choose full fat meat. If you want to add a little bit of oil or butter on top or inside the water, you can do it. Okay, so let me test this one. Let's see. I'll check, okay. Uh, this one. Mm -hmm. It's cooked too, and the salt is perfect. If you decide to add salt, be sure to add it at the beginning. Just taste the, that stock 
the water, that boiling water. This is so delicious. I'm gonna get a few. And I'll go get the garlic with yogurt. I mean yogurt with garlic. Although I added enough garlic in the meat and in, in this thing. So this is done as well. So I'll go grab the yogurt and we're done. We have like variety of tolma today. It's tolma day. Our dinner is ready and uh, the house smells so good and I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten all day and I've been cooking all day. Okay, and we serve it with garlic yogurt, usually and normally. Okay, and I love my tolma with lavash. Okay, I'll just put one in tolma, uh, lavash in tolma in lavash, just like this, and I'll take a bite. Mm. Mm, so delicious, so juicy and so spicy. I love it. I want to finish this. Mm. And the radish goes so perfect with tolma. Try it. That's it. Full recipe will be on my blog, herine.com. Link for the recipe below this video. Try it, let me know how you liked it. And let me grab a piece from this lazy, per <laughs> lazy person, stoma. Okay, this one looks slightly different because I added tomato. But I still want to add a little bit of garlic yogurt on this one. I'll taste it. Okay, I have full house of hungry people. I'll go make the table, dinner table. And you go make the tolma so you can try it and see how delicious is this Armenian dish. Tolma. Mm, so yummy. Oh yeah, and subscribe to my channel. If you want to subscribe to my channel, like the video and all those things I say at the end. I'll see you soon. 